Have you ever been to a magical place? This is kind of how I felt when I went to the Thian Hu Temple in Kuala Lumpur. But first I took the metro and walked for a bit and I could already see the lights up there. Probably the first time I walked at night in the city. It's going up. And then I was always there. I could already see. When I arrived, there were a lot of people in some kind of a show in the main stage with obviously a lot of Malay Chinese people. So I went around to try to find the entrance. The reason why I came here was because it was the Mooncake Festival and I expected to see some things happening here. We could see the different animals that represent the Chinese culture. And I kept on walking a little bit more around. Some people got lanterns like these ones with a flame inside. Excuse me. Yes. Where can I find moon cake tonight? Moon cake. Do you have moon cakes? Oh, no, no. I couldn't find moon cakes. I wanted to do a tasting, but that's fine. I will do next time. So instead, I went inside the temple to see what's going on there. And the first room here was about a game called Riddle. I have no idea how to play it, but a lot of people were here. Then I went to the balcony and you could enjoy the main stage from the other side. But the most interesting part was the second floor. So I went up there and this is when the magic happened. This is the place that everyone is talking about. And yes, I'm not a tourist, but I really enjoyed this mood here. It was really magical, very special. On top of the lights, you can already smell the Chinese incense. It just gives a very special mood and I just sat there to enjoy that. Then I went inside, so I removed my shoes. In this culture, people pray like this in front of Buddha with incense or a candle and I guess they make wishes. I don't really know much about it actually, but I would love to learn. I'm very trusted about this culture as well. So I asked, mm -hmm. why do you do this? Yeah. Oh, I wish. Okay. Sorry, I disturbed you during the yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really wanted to experience that, so. So I have to make a wish. Yeah. And do this. Yeah, and cool. Do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick the highest and then, one. Yeah, you pick your high, highest one. And then there's a number. 35. Yeah, then you pick a number. 35. 35. 35. Uh, here. Yes. Yeah. Glittering lights at the end of tunnel. This is quite long. <laughs> Don't widget and rack your brains. Whatever is changing will soon unravel itself. Set your mind at ease as events will brighten up in your favor in due course. It's good, right? It's good. I, I think it's good. <laughs> After this moment, I noticed that there were even a higher part of the temple. So I went up there to enjoy the lights from above. And it looks like you are in some kind of a kingdom and you are the king of the world up there <laughs> and this was the very highest people come here to take pictures they dress up especially women with traditional clubs this is pretty much located in the center of Kuala Lumpur so it's definitely something to do when you come to the capital of Malaysia